Okay, guys, look what we got. We finally got the engine back from the machine shop. Um, I'll include a video on here of me unloading it and everything. But it's basically a uh, 30 over uh, 351 with uh, the uh, Mustang pistons, the 351 rods, and the uh, crank, stroke crank to make it a 393. Um, obviously, we got some, we're waiting on the aluminum heads right now. Uh, we ordered them online and uh, they should be here maybe next week and they come with an intake manifold and and all that um, but Yeah, let's see what else we got going on here Okay guys, the reason I had to take the um, engine off the back of the truck like I did in the video is uh, when I brought this engine cradle, which I got off Amazon for 302, 302, 351. I can't remember if it just said it was for a 351 or not, but I had to do some uh, modifications to it. Not really modifications, I just spread the part open a little bit more that has the, uh, that goes where the motor mounts go. And then um, <clears throat> the back portions back here uh, we're kind of tilted in a little bit. So I just hit them with the hammer a few times Everything, you know, once the engine was upside down everything went on there perfectly fine But trying to put it on there in the machine shop. They didn't uh, They said it wasn't gonna work, but it worked. So anyway, um, so that's why the engine was put in there upside down and I had to get it off that way. So Hopefully that answers that question, but this this cart works pretty good um, You just might have to like I said, I had to spread the uh, the parts that hold the um where the motor mounts go, I had to spread those bars. It just we pulled them apart a little bit further, just to because the engine's a little bit wider, I believe. So, but it wasn't a big deal, and everything lines up. Um, I did just put some bigger bolts in the place where the uh, um, it comes with a bolt for back here, but then it's just a hole where you're normally your uh, the transmission. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they stick out of the engine. The locating pins um, would go, so I just used a bigger bolt to just slide in there, just just in case. But uh, yeah, we got the gaskets and everything, the oil pan, oil pump. We have to do a little bit of work to it. This has the, uh, this was an 84 van, 1984 Ford Econoline van. So it has the correct um, oil pan, which we'll, we'll go over that um, in a later video, probably when we assemble everything. Um, I do have the heads intake manifold coming um, online, hopefully next week. Um, let's see what else we did here. The machinist. Um, so this is going in, obviously going in the in the fifty two Ford. Um, and from just the information I gathered online, we had to get some sixty nine Mustang three fifty one uh, accessories, basically on the front accessory pulleys, water pump pulley, and all that. Well, we got the uh, balancer for that year vehicle too. Well, um, he didn't like the degrees that were on it, so he milled those off and. Uh, you know, put top dead center, 90 degrees, 270, uh, what else we got? 30, 35. So he put some lines in there for me. So when we adjust the valves and everything and do the timing, he took care of that. And then on the 84 engine, and I'm sure it was it's several other years too. Um, so you have to get a short snout water pump and I'll, I'll probably address that in a later video, but, uh, this is the 84 timing cover and hopefully this will work, but uh, he had to mill off, if you can see right there, that's where the old timing mark used to be. He milled that off and then he put, there's actually was a station there basically for the uh, a pin. I guess it's the old style way to do it. Um, he, uh, he basically made a pin for it and put one in there so we can time it that way. The oil uh, outlet, bottom hose outlet comes out this way. So that's good anyway, so it'll make room for it. Not that there wasn't room before, but it just uh, now now it lines up with the uh, harmonic balancer and everything. And like I said, we do have the the kit for the gaskets. Um, some other things going on. Um, I believe for the alternator, I got a a one wire alternator coming, and I I retain the uh, 
Um, this is the alternator relocation bracket for a 351. I think you need to use that because the motor is taller. And then it uses the standard um, 302-289 alternator brackets, but I'm not totally sure. But I did, this This is the one that came off the engine and I ordered some uh, new brackets to get, get rid of those bulky ones that are on an 80s vehicle. If you guys have any uh, suggestions on any of that, just let me know. But I do have the, the pulley for the harmonic balancer and I have the the correct 69 um, water pump pulley too. So hopefully that's all working. And he did, uh, he did have, go ahead and he balanced the, the flex plate there and everything. So yeah, that's what we got going on this week. So maybe we'll, I don't know, do a little bit of assembly or something. I don't know if the heads come in. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and share. Thank you.